Hey guys and welcome back, I'm Pope John Paul and we're here with another 1212 AD battle for you. And this is the Battle of Hattin uh, from 1187 AD, obviously. Um, and yeah, this is a historical battle between the Ayyubids and the uh, Kingdom of Jerusalem. We also have in this battle the Principality of Antioch. Um, in history, it was a Ayyubid victory. Saladin uh, defeats the Crusader armies. And, uh, yeah, if you've watched The Kingdom of Heaven, great film, I would recommend. Um, then you, uh, you do get to see sort of a bit of, like, the Battle of Hattin or the aftermath of Hattin. So, uh, so yeah, it's a... Let's see if we can, uh, have a different result for the Crusaders. I'd, I'd like to see the Crusaders win. Having done a Jerusalem campaign, it'd be nice to see the Crusaders win. But, let's quickly go through some of the army comps and have a look. Because especially, like, I've not really looked at, like, Antioch and... Or the EU bids, really. Um, so let's have a look. So, I mean, the EU. Uh, not the EU bids. Jesus. Already got it wrong. Already get my factions wrong. But um, Antioch getting uh, some Crusade. Dismounted Crusader Knights. They look pretty damn cool. I mean, I do like their banners. Look at that banner. Look at the detail in these banners. I mean, they look awesome. They also have some. A lot of. Obviously, the Genoese are here. You can't go with a battle without having the Genoese on the battlefield. Um, we also have, there's another different, the Syriac Swordsmen, these guys, which are pretty cheap compared to their uh, Crusader counterparts, but they'll still hold the line. Medium melee infantry are probably the, one of the weakest sword units on the battlefield, most of the units being heavy here today. Um, we have F Foot Crusader Knights, heavy shock infantry. These guys look pretty damn awesome. Very good shock infantry will be punching through lines. No problem. We also have some pikes out here. What are these pikes? Crusader pikemen. Oh, these guys look pretty cool. Not as good as the Poulain, uh, dismounted Poulain knights, which I know uh, Jerusalem does have today, uh, which is another pike unit. They look a lot more colourful, but those ones look cool as well. This is probably my favourite unit on the battlefield, possibly. Maybe the Templars uh, just pinch it, but these Hospitaller knights, wow, they look beautiful. Look very much like the Knights of Malta, which the Hospital which the Knights of Malta were, they were Hospitaller Knights. Um, we'll quickly go over some of the uh, units that you need to be watching out for is the Ubids. Um Where are they? These guys. Uh, the Mam Mamluk Foot Guards, excellent unit. Probably one of the most OP units, I think, in this game. Um, heavy bow infantry. So, I mean, which also can use swords, very good with the swords. Also have their bow alternative, which they do have out currently. And it looks like you have about five units of these guys. Um, which, I mean, for each army, there is two armies here, obviously. Um, and, I mean, these guys are just nasty. They are nasty. Hold, They can hold a line, they have shields, they have swords, they have bows. They literally are, part, unless they had horses, they are basically the most versatile unit in the game. And they're very good at just about everything they do. Um, these guys, also the Jubilant Mamluk Lance is very good as well, very strong cavalry unit. I mean... The Crusaders also have very strong cavalry units, which I think probably do, I think the Hospitals do just sort of pinch these guys to like be better. But I mean, these guys are Silver Chevron, which I don't know about the uh, Hospitaller Knights. I don't think they're chevroned up at all. Oh, they are slightly on the uh, Jerusalem side. Um, any other units? I mean, these are pretty weak, these spears. I mean, Tabardaria, they're going to be pretty handy. I love the Tabardaria in this game. They look amazing. And we are using the large unit mods again. So we have 240 in each unit of these guys. They are going to be nasty. But it does seem like it's opposite way around. That Hattin, um, in the battle... Oh, here we go. I think there is a bit of shooting going on. The battle is sort of getting underway now. Um, but yeah, in history, Hattin was kind of... The Crusaders were defending the horns of Hattin. And, uh, well, as a final stand. But it seems in this battle, it looks like it's going to be the Crusaders attacking a uh, defending Muslim army. So, but I mean, we can have a slight little change in history. I don't mind that. So, uh, I mean, these, oh, wait a minute. These aren't the Seljuks. These are... I've not seen this unit before, actually. Almush. I'm not even going to try and say that. But I mean, they're they're under fire now from uh, some Hospitaller crossbows. But I mean, really, Hospitaller crossbows need to be firing on these guys. These guys, as I've already said, are going to be nasty. I think crossbows are actually probably one of the way, best ways to beat these guys. Because they've got huge, huge shields back there. Wow, these guys are just... They're not even turning when they reload. They're just standing there. But the crossbows, they actually do turn, obviously, to protect themselves. And then... And then fire. 
So they almost do have the advantage there, and they really need to focus these guys down. It just look like they're getting absolutely, they're, well, I say absolutely bad. They've lost about two men so far. It does look like there's going to be some sort of a cow engagement here. It looks like the uh, Hospitaller or the Drusen player here is luring in some Lancers. Here he goes. I think it, this is it. No, 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 no. I mean, both both uh, armies have got, like, axe units nearby. They've got Tabardaria, and we have some dismounted Hospitaller Knights over there also getting ready just to support their cavalry. And there's Pikes as well. I think this might be it. This is going to be it. In we go, boys. And a charge. It's an okay charge. I mean, cavalry on cavalry is never... I mean, when they're both hitting each other, I mean, it's pretty detrimental for both sides. But here we go. Pikes coming in. Look at all these spears and flags. It looks beautiful. It does really remind me of the Kingdom of Heaven. I'm um, seeing all these flags. The scene where, like, this, you see the huge cross and, like, all the flags. It's pretty damn cool. I will admit. I mean, it looks like the pikes are kind of uh, mopping up some of these, uh, these lancers. But, I mean... The Hospitaller Knights are pretty deep in enemy li lines as well, so I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, it looks like they're going to try and get a little flank on here on these pikes with this infantry. And it looks like they're trying to send some uh, Hospitaller Knights to sort of uh, save them. And they are kind of, I mean, they're ever so close to getting these pikemen. They look amazing. I mean, they, it's such a, this area is so crowded right now. It's such a small area. Already we're breaking for the uh, Hospitaller Knights. Wow. And we have a ca uh, an infantry charge here, Order Swordsman, another medium infantry unit, which is why I think Jerusalem has possibly got the disadvantage here in this battle. They are bringing a lot of medium infantry, well, uh, the Ubids, I don't think they've got any medium infantry bar spears, which is going to be just used anyway for defending against um, cavalry. Even if you have spears, medium spears, you're going to use spears defensively, you're not like while well, swords going to use offensively, and we're put some more at risk. But look at this guy, this Order Swordsman officer is in black armor. He looks amazing. He's dead now, though. Rip in peace. At least you died looking good, sir. But, I mean, it looks like... Okay, this is interesting by Jerusalem. He's leaving his Genoese crossbows to just almost get overwhelmed. I mean, you might want those crossbows for late game. They definitely haven't used all their ammo either. What a waste. Send in the Order Swordsman. Send them in. And now I think they're breaking because of it. Yeah, these guys are wavering. They have gunners! I didn't even see these guys! They Jerusalem's brought hospital of gunners. I mean, there wasn't gunners at the real Battle of Hattin, but they have gunners. <laughs> I mean, that's, it's always f fun having them there, I guess. Uh, Antioch's yet to engage. I mean, he probably wants to engage pretty soon because, I mean, Jerusalem is almost fully committed. He's not got much reserves left. He's got about... Three units of order swords, and he's got some dismounted Templar knights. Here they are. My boys. My good looking boys. I love these guys. Oh! Just the white on red. It's so simplistic. It looks so good. I mean, they've also got their own hospital knights. Uh, here. I mean, could they get them in? Could they sneak these guys in? I don't know really where they're going. If they could get them in between that gap and attack these. Uh, Foot guards, that'll be huge, but I mean, they are breaking the uh, Mamluk lances back there, and their guys are still wavering, but they are holding. I mean, it's best just to leave them in there. Now, if they pull them back, they're just going to get massacred. It causes more damage. I mean, what's it? they are outnumbered. They were originally outnumbered as well, and but they've nearly lost 400 men to, I mean, I think both sides lost about the similar sort of men, but with the uh, Ubids outnumbering them to start with, that's uh, that's huge. I mean, there's loads of breaking going on here. Look, these order swords were 201. They've only lost 39 men, and they're breaking to these heavy infantry. That's why you need to bring heavy infantry. I don't know what. I can't remember off the top of my head what sort of roster um, Drusen has. They have obviously a lot of uh, dismounted Templar knights. We can only bring about three of them. But I certainly would have brought a couple more because at least then you've got heavy infantry on the battlefield instead of ma medium. But maybe they their budget didn't allow them to bring any more. I'm not sure. It is unknown. But I mean, those I know those uh, hospital knights are very expensive. They're definitely the best cavalry unit I think available to the Crusaders. So he's probably invested a lot in his cavalry. 
And he brought gunners, which are not cheap either, but they're, they're not too much more, I don't think. You basically could get a heavy infantry for the price of one of them. Looks like the general, King's bodyguard, is involved in a fight back here. Jubilant Mamluk Lance is causing havoc in the back. I mean, but I think that you imagine these guys will hold. The Templars will probably hold. They've lost quite a lot. Lots of breaking, go or lots of wavering going on here. Looks like the pikemen are going to retreat out of that fight, and they're going to look for somewhere else to engage. Look like they're going to go in and fight these uh, foot Mamluk of oh, Mamluk foot guards, which I ju have said already. These men, these are nasty. They've only lost thirty guys, and they're breaking like or like other lives. like full. I don't know what I was trying to say. They're fully fu well. Well, you know what? Well, some order swordsmen. They're trying to break some order swordsmen, which aren't hard. To, they're still hard to break for a sort for an arch unit. Oh dear! You can tell I'm not with it today, apparently. Um, but yes, here we go. More foot mamluks causing uh, havoc in the back, and these are handgunners. I mean, they're not going to last very long. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> what are they even doing? They just poof, poof, poof. I mean, also actually, the hospitality officers—they look. Even possibly even better. Oh, it's quite close. I don't know which one I prefer. I don't know what Antioch's doing. He really needs to engage pretty soon. I mean, his general's over here for some reason trying to help out. But I mean, Jerusalem is in a lot of trouble. His center is uh, all but gone. Like the and um, those uh, heavy infantry have basically punched through a, ho a hole through. It's really going to rely on them like winning over here and then swinging around because they have a lot of infantry like choked up here. I mean, they need it though. They're, uh, and they're still outnumbered. And it, the problem is, with their positioning, a lot of units are breaking. Possibly could have returned. But, uh, going off the, uh, well, over the dead the red line of doom. I mean, these order swordsmen have just returned. But, I mean, 206 and they're breaking. That shows, like, the quality, really. Against, like, high-quality men. I'm not saying they're an awful unit. Against other medium swords units, I'm sure they'd hold very well. And maybe even, like, against some even better tier units in a choke point but like in this scenario they're just getting overwhelmed I'm just beaten and it doesn't help they're probably fighting one of the best units of the game which are these uh, archers but I mean if you if you got to beat an OP unit what do you bring you bring pikes and that's what Jerusalem's doing that's very uh, very smart of him not sure why he's moving them up uh, this is just gonna get some men unnecessary killed and yeah, I, yeah, that was yeah. I wouldn't have done that. I would have just left them where, where they were. They were slowly going to kill those those archers off. I know he can't go slowly, but he needs to just hold up as many of these units and be, be a nuisance as long as possible to allow Antioch to win over here. Because I think, well, he's, Antioch's not breaking yet. Put it like that. But um, I think he's got probably a better chance, mainly because I think this, yeah, this. Ayyubid army only has four foot archers, which possibly could make the difference. And if they focus them down, they might actually be able to do some damage. I mean, they, he's also not using his in melee. He's using keeping his being used as archers. Which, even though they'll be great archers, you don't get as many kills shooting arrows as you do getting in there and getting dirty. But I do love these uh, Dismounted Crusader uh, soldiers. Are they sort of knights, I presume they are, aren't they? Yeah, Crusader knights, not soldiers. Um... With all the different like banners, like they've got England one there, you've got I've seen a, there's a Bohemian one there, you've got all sorts of just random ones. So, so good. I mean, there's a lot of a lot of lag when I zoom in there for some reason. I mean, the general getting himself pro unnecessarily involved. Oh dear, pikes breaking. What happened to these pikes? Oh my gosh, what happened to the pike formation? And yeah, they're breaking because of it. Yeah, cut them down. Oh no, you, you're going to get cut down, sir. You are a, a unlucky Crusader soldier there. I mean, it doesn't look great for Antioch either. Maybe it's going to be uh, this uh, scenario is going to end up being the same as history. But I mean, I well, I say that this Hospitaller Knight unit is about to rout this uh, foot guards, which could be huge. I mean, if you can break a couple of these foot guard units, maybe their uh, the rest of their infantry won't stand so well. It's it's. It's hard to tell, though. It's hard to tell. I mean, the, their other infantry is not doing too bad either. <gasps> wow, that is huge. I think it's just this general here. I was just looking. I was, I was like, I'm pretty sure this happens, but I couldn't remember when. But we have an enemy general dead, and it's this Ayyubid uh, 
general over here. Saladin is dead, you could say. One of the Saladins is dead. Um, this is going to be huge. I mean, already there's breaking stuff here. Um, there's more breaks, break, wavering here, more wavering here. What's this? Oh, yeah, wow. This is actually massively changing. Look, the balance of power is probably back to even now. Um, I can't tell how many men are dead, though. For some reason, it won't show now. Sometimes if I do that, that works. So that's very bizarre. But there we go. So we have about 400 still in it, but it's still very, very close. Let's just go back to normal speed. Let's see this carnage over here. What a bloody mess. You could, This fight's been going on since the very beginning, and it doesn't look like anything's changed. I mean, in the background, you can see a lot of Crusaders moving forward now, though. So, I mean, they're clearly regaining ground to Jerusalem. It's now actually possibly going to be down to the other Ayyubid army to actually turn this around for the Muslim nations. Otherwise, maybe uh, the Crusaders will go on a march for Damascus after winning this battle. I get. I think that's what uh, is the, ne the nearest city to Hattin. Well, it's certainly, Dam certainly Damascus is one of the major ones. God, these dismounted hospital knights look so good. It's just some... I, I mean, the Crusader uniforms look so basic, but so good. Basic in such a good way. I, just a simple cross, two colours of the cross. But in black and white, in red and white, in red and... Well, red and white, two ways. Um, and the, can I make the temple hallway and the hospital hallway? They look so good. I mean, they also look good, look good like this. I mean, I think just the Crusader states look like some of the most best-looking units in the game. I mean, these pikes definitely just get involved and get in there. Move these pikes in. This cavalry is just standing here. I don't know what's happened. These just these lances are just asking to be stabbed. No, don't go in. Is he just lining up? What is he doing? I mean, this order swordsman unit as well is actually just leaving itself open to being killed by these um, foot guards, but. Yeah, this is going to be a, a story just constantly throughout this uh, battle. Foot guards being all the swordsmen, I feel like that's just inevitable. These pikes really need to just take out this cab. What is happening? And now there's foot guards in behind these guys. What? <laughs> what is happening here? It's so bizarre. But Antioch's going in for some good hammer and anvils here. Oh, that is actually a very good hammer and anvil. These uh, so uh, of swords, these spears won't hold very long. Yep, just like that breaking. Just like that breaking. I mean, they need these. Uh, what are they? What are these? What are these guys actually? Foot Crusader Knights. More Foot Crusader Knights. Wow. The, oh no, the, the other ones are dismounted. That's what it is. God, they just so similar names. But anyway, they, the Crusaders need to turn around and just attack these uh, uh, these other swords because I mean they're in real trouble. I mean these older swordsmen actually may come and save the day. They might actually do something for good for once. I'm hating on these Order Swordsmen, but I mean, they have been awful so far this battle. But maybe for once they'll be of use. And in they go. And surrounding. This is a lot of men to surround right now. I mean, one's breaking. If they can break both these units, that is huge. And then they've basically mopped up most of this side, actually. Yeah, I'd say that the Crusaders are in ascendancy. The balance of power is agreeing with me. It's for the first time it's even. And actually, the Crusaders are ever so slightly about 40 kills difference in it, but they are actually 40 kills in the lead. Yeah, just about. I mean, they really need to take out these foot guards, though. They need to keep their cavalry alive and start running these ca uh, these guys down. I also don't know what these archers are doing, but like, what's happening here? I don't know if this is, like, the replay's bugged out a bit or something, but, I mean, these guys just stood here looking at these hospitalers. That may be, on my end, like, the replay bugging up a bit, but oh well. If it is, then it is. I mean, look at these bloodied up Templars. They've been through so much. And they have so much more to do. But who knows? Yeah, maybe these... I don't know. Let's have a look at Antioch. Let's I've not really looked much at Antioch, but I mean, they're not in a great state right now. I think these Syriac... You know, these are just Mount Crusader Knights as well. They are getting overwhelmed by, of course, the foot guards that are Mamluks. But yes. It's, uh, it's not looking not too, looking too well. These guys, I mean, they do just look like they're uh, 
they're just elite. I mean, they've got gold helmets. I mean, these awesome scimitars. I mean, they just look. I mean, when you see like, I'm gonna reference Kingdom of Heaven again. I mean, after this, you're gonna have to go and watch Kingdom of Heaven if you haven't seen it. Um, like they, they, all the Turks look like this. So maybe they are all very elite. That's why they, why they take uh, Jerusalem. A bit of a spoiler there. But if you don't know your history, then, and like, why are you watching a Kingdom of Heaven? You know what's gonna happen. But it's a good film. Would recommend. I'm gonna give film recommendations now every episode, apparently. Lord of the Rings, literally every time Rise of Mordor is uh, uploaded, and now Kingdom of Heaven with 12-12. These, wow, these guys are breaking. 94, they're breaking. I mean, I don't know about where's the other general? That's a good question. Is he dead as well? No, surely not. I didn't get anything saying that he died. But I think he is. I think the other... Both Saladins are dead, it would seem. Yeah, I think someone's bugged out over here. Um, I don't know. They're engaging these guys now. I mean, like, I don't know what this... A Ubi player is doing. Did he go AFK or I don't know? But he, he should. He could have mopped up quite a few of these units. Like these cavalry could have mopped up all those, and probably some of this. Yeah, but these guys aren't actually fighting. They're just kind of standing there. I feel like he must have gone AFK. Look at that! The banner of Islam standing strong, and now it's going into battle. He's pr prodding someone with a staff. But finally, oh my gosh, there we go. He's given the order. He's not AFK anymore. He's given the order, and in they go. Shooting at point blank range. These poor Templars, an order swordsman. Getting some harrowing fire there at close range. But I mean, yeah, it looks like the Crusaders are going to take this one. I mean, they are nearly two, uh, a thousand men uh, like in the difference. I mean, I don't know how they really change it. It was when that general died. Like, there's a huge chain route here along this, like, this line. And they eventually won over here. And it doesn't look like they did because, well, there's units over here. But they did actually manage to win that, surprisingly. I don't know what the, the Prince of Antioch's doing. Is he just standing? He's just standing still, really. And there's still a bit of fighting going on here and there. But, I mean, most of the units are just kind of, like, holding out and just doing nothing. They're just kind of regathering their breath. But, I mean, these dismounted Crusader Knights... These boys still holding strong. I mean, I think they got some support now from another unit to hold against these foot mamluks. I mean, God, man, these these guys are nasty. Yeah, there's still like our Syriac swords joining. Can't really tell the difference. I think these ones were like the circle shields, like the Syriac swords. But I mean, they're still losing. This one's wavering. This one's losing. This uh, not losing decisively. Just losing against these guys. I mean. It's been the story of the battlefield, of the battle. I, w I have been going on, but I mean, man, they've been absolute hell to fight against. And the Genoese just taking another payday, and they're marching off to go and hunt down these guys. Just easy money for them, apparently. Didn't really have to do a lot. Yeah, both these units breaking to Mamluk foot guards. Jesus. I mean, I think. Is the Prince of Antioch dead? He's not. I mean, both their generals are well out of the fighting now, but I mean, there's a lot of breaking by Antioch, so it makes me wonder, did the Antioch general die at some point? I hope not, for the Crusaders' sake. I mean, look at this. It looks so beautiful. It looks so beautiful, just like a huge mass of colour marching forward. It does also look slightly cancerous to look at, I will admit. It's hard to pick out something to look at with all these colours. But there we go, a ferret victory. Just like that, there must have been a huge break. Um, so we'll end the replay and have a look at the end results. Um, well, there we go. Ba the history has been changed. The Battle of Hattin, now a Crusader victory on the channel instead of a uh, Muslim victory. So thank you uh, to the sub that sent it in, uh, Premils, uh, Premsil. Sorry, I nearly butchered your name there. Um, I mean, one of his units. <laughs> I've just like picked that straight out. Dismounted Hospitaller Knights. Um, getting 306 kills. The other one getting 253. Wow. They were insane. And they were basically in that fight on the far left the entire battlefield. An order swordsman unit actually did get 200 kills. But I mean there is also one that got zero. So it just shows the comparison. These guys were like sometimes be great and then sometimes just awful. Um, 
My boys, the Templar is getting 120 kills. That's not too bad. Hospital of Gunner is getting 89 kills. Possibly actually not worth bringing. Probably not at all. Is Cavalry actually not doing that great? 27 kills on 63. Um, wasn't really much for them to chase down, I guess. But, I mean, they could have done a lot more at Hammer and Anvils, possibly. I know one of them certainly was uh, held up in, like, fighting against other Cavalry for a long time. I think it might have been this one. Um, and his General actually getting 183 kills. That's not bad either. Um... To be fair, I mean, he nearly died, but I mean, he did pretty well. Um, well, let's look at Antioch quickly. Foot Crusader Knights, wow, 451. That must be the highest any of them have got now. Mercer and Genoese getting 366, and another one getting 313. These, that is some insane stats. I mean, Antioch did insanely well. I mean, this Hospital Knight unit getting 224, the other one getting one. <laughs> That's a huge difference, but I mean, don't know, something must have happened to this one that like, got just murdered or something. But um, but this one did insanely well. And his general actually getting 149 kills as well. That's not bad either. His pike's doing okay. Yeah, everything actually doing pretty well for him. Um, really, he had, apart from like two units, everything like did pretty well. Um, let's look at Joseph Bonaparte, um, who was playing as one of the uh, Ubid nations or factions. Um, yeah, as expected, look at that. His foot... Uh, his foot guards doing insanely well apart from like one all getting over 200 kills this one getting 354 kills that's even that's just mad i mean there's some in, some units getting insane amount of kills here 218 for his uh jublin a uh, juban uh mamluk lancers and what else did i exit his heavy infantry actually did pretty well 152 kills his tabadere getting 151 not bad his 217 actually for that uh heavy infantry unit these guys actually might be worth trying out i might have to try these guys out they actually seem pretty solid i often do go for the mamluk foot guards myself because they're so versatile but i mean these guys don't seem too bad either then prost uh prost arvos um probably butchering these names i do apologize i'm it's what i do best Playing as the other Ubid uh, nation. Again, his uh, foot Mamluk's doing insanely well. Did the other one? Oh, no, they both had four. It looked like this uh, one of the armies had f uh, five, but I mean, I don't think they did. Um, so four each, I mean. And uh, this one only, this one getting 285. I say only. That's still really good. And then another one getting 200. These ones do not so well. This was against the Antioch army, I have a feeling. Um, but yeah, they also did pretty damn well. I mean, 298 kills for that heavy infantry unit, that's a very good uh, result, that's actually his best unit I think there, and he's kind of doing pretty well, both getting over 100 kills as well, it's not actually a bad result, there's Tabadre getting about 90 gold kills each as well, so again well done to him, but yeah, so thank you for sending this uh, replay in, it was excellent, nice to see uh, the Crusaders winning against the uh, Muslim forces, for once often I see uh, the Muslims absolutely wrecking the Crusaders, but it's nice to have a change but if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here and comment if there's a battle that you want me to uh, reproduce or so down below in the comments. Um, I'm always open to, well, anything really, any options. Uh, I'll try and recreate to the best of my abilities. But anyway, guys, until next time, bye for now.